two lives and shit, you ain't gonna bang your head in the hell. Conversation. You know, as far as we can do this. But, uh, I'm gonna chop it up. And, like, all this shit right now, you know, you just gonna chop it up. And take out, you know, the most important parts and shit. So, you know, as far as Reaching out to other artists um, going forward, do you plan on it or you just want them to reach out to you? You know, I honestly try to reach out to certain artists, certain real niggas who I, who I fuck with, you know. Some niggas from my hood, some niggas not from my hood, some niggas from out of town, but if I reach out to you, that means I really strongly like, you know, fuck with your music. You know, I'm, I'm following some shit you're doing, you know. I'm trying to, you know, Make my shit be somewhat similar a little bit just cause I fuck with what you doing a little bit, but not really, no, I ain't really gonna reach out to these niggas, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker wanna do something with me then, you know, hit, hit us up at the network, but other than that, you know, it's all business from here out. We gonna build our buzz off us. We gonna get y'all to fuck with what we doing. And then y'all feel like y'all got a request for any, you know. Collab yeah, any collaboration or any of that type of shit then. I'm with it, but uh, now I ain't really trying to fuck with too many niggas, man. I'm trying to do my own thing, man. Because I got a team of a lot of niggas, so I got enough niggas to make this shit happen. That's it. Fuck with it. As far as love the game, with the music, where do you conceptually see yourself with the company? Honestly, on love the game, with the music and the company, I am the fucking CEO plus I'm artist on the record, so. I honestly see myself right now as being like gonna be the first artist that's gonna take the, you know, kick at the door, try to get us in the game. But for sure I got niggas like Cable, Kings, you know, a few dollars, a couple more niggas that's coming out who fuck with us higher than they they LGM, they Lordy Gang, you know what I'm saying? You gotta understand. Lordy Gang is just not just me, this shit bigger than me. We got all types of niggas, niggas do everything. You know what I'm talking about? So that's what it is. Lordy Gang is street shit, music shit. You got female, LGM, you know, all types of shit, so that's what we doing in 2012. Track, you run this shit, you know how you doing this, but that's what I see. I'm just going to be an artist, and then I'm going to fall back for a minute and let my guys shine and have what we want. As far as loyalty game, what does it mean to you? Lord again, here at gym, that shit mean everything to me, honestly. That's my life. I don't see no other way, so. That's everything. Literally, that's like my kids. So, my sister, mother, brother, whoever. That's that's my life. It ain't no other way. It's shit bigger than my hood. 
Yo Hood. We got niggas from niggas from MCs, niggas from BDs, niggas from GDs. This shit bigger than that, so that's why I'm going with this shit. But that's my life. That's a long story. That's the way we live. Loyalty is not a game. That's a fucking lifestyle. That's just the way me and my niggas do this shit. So that's that's what that means to me. That's the way. That's the way of living. So that's what that gym means. Loyalty can be done. As far as other, you know, associations throughout the country of guys, even around the globe, uh, calling them, them their click loyalty gang, you know, do you at all feel as if you created the term loyalty gang, or is this something that was bigger than what you immediately actually saw and just realized there was a trend that you felt you could actually continue to extend throughout the world. Yeah, that's exactly like when I see other niggas with the with the title of Lordy Gang and shit like this, L and all types of shit with Lordy in it, but so I really and that's just the way I live. So I attacked that me too personally from that standpoint of view is because I know that's a big word. That's a powerful word. It's really not a word. That's the way we live. So yeah, but I see I can make this shit bigger, but nah, I ain't really tripping on all them other niggas out there calling themselves Lord of the Game. Well, exactly. exactly. We, the, we the real Lord of the Game. If that shit ain't get snapped from us, Chicago niggas, then that shit is not authentic. You know what I'm talking about? That's what, and I'm snapping this shit. I'm the CEO of Lord of the Game. I'm eight thing. So if you don't fuck with me, and you ain't never emailed us, or we ain't told you niggas putting no labels up and none of that shit, that shit ain't real. So if you go on there and look at our shit and it's a nigga buys, he trying to bite off our shit. Just that simple. We ain't shit called nothing. But yeah, you know, y'all to each his own though. We are GM though. That's what it is. Just like that, I guess. Um, the music. The music. That's everything right there. You know what I'm talking about? That's more than this interview. That's more than the talk. All the shit we saying, they saying. That's that's what counts. That's that's what this shit gonna pay off for. You know what I'm talking about? The music is my life. You know what I'm talking about? I've listened to music since I was a baby. Like my father artist, so I got to grow up in this shit. You know what I'm saying? I got to see this shit from the industry point of view as well as the streets point of view. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm a real street nigga, for real, for real. You know? But the music, that's real life shit. I got a lot of tracks coming in 2012, spring. Fuck the critics mixtape coming. It's more like an album. Everything original, produced Good. by the network. Good. Yeah. Good. About 60 damn tracks for it. <laughs> yeah, we got like 60 tracks, all bangers. We got shit for the females, shit for the hood, shit for the radio. We got shit for the kids. We got shit for everybody, but this shit real street. When you hear this shit, you know what I'm saying? Goof ass and it's trying to just, you know what I'm talking about? You gonna really fuck with this shit. I'm gonna let the music talk for itself, but the music, that's everything in this company. You know what I'm talking about? LGM. Mm -hmm. That's it. Festivities. Or what you say is your favorite pastime? My favorite pastime. What you mean, like shit that I do? Hobbies. Yeah. What is your recreation? Shit that I do the past sure, What the fuck we do when it's just us? Like the shit. Oh, shit. What I do the past time is me personally. I don't do shit. Smoke weed, be in the booth. Fuck with a few female friends. You know, just chill with my guys and fuck with my kids. Like, nah, I actually got my son here. This is my career and shit. You know what I'm saying? Chilling with my cousin, you know. The network is me running this shit. But for what I do for my free time is just chill, man. Try to get this money sky out here on these streets, man. You know, this drilling noise, man. It's fucked up out here. We trying to survive, man. It's real life interview. Face to face, you don't get no, the shit don't get no real than this. We, it, it's, it's real in these streets. I ain't even break after the, the multi thousand dollar equipment for this interview. It was like, fuck it, we just gonna do it through the iPad right now. So, yeah. shit, that's just how we doing it. Uh, how do you feel about, you know, certain people that may potentially feel as if, if you do get that big break that you want, that it was based because of who your father was? How I feel about them, I'm saying niggas hating if that's the case. You hear my shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm nothing like what my father was doing, you know. All love to my father and they got their own sound, their own thing. But what I'm building is a movie. I'm setting a trend for a lot of motherfuckers to follow us, you know what I'm talking about? 
But man, what I say to them type of niggas is, man, they can fall back. We ain't with all the hate and shit, man. The streets certified me. Real talk. All them other niggas who coming from Chicago and they saying they certified and this, that, and that, and the third. They ain't built like that, man. They just talking, but, you know, for them who say it's just because of my pops on me getting this shit, then I say we gonna see it. That's what I say. I guess that's most more than enough for that one. That's definitely more than enough for them to do, but, you know, I fuck with Chicago artists. A couple niggas doing that thing, you know, but really, I don't fuck with nobody. We starting our own shit. LGM, this to take off. Shout out K-Real, the Kings, nigga. I'm shout out Nello, nigga. Gangster. Every motherfucker from my hood, every motherfucker, nigga. That's what it is. The networkers, how did I forget the networkers? They built this shit, nigga. So, shout out to Trap. And I'm out this bitch. Everything, AK, double A. Ghost. Reach your nigga on Twitter. Hit me up on Twitter, too. At everything LGM. At the networkers.com. At Baby Deshaun. That's what it is. Fuck with us, people, shit. If producers try to submit shit, shit, you just follow them same contacts. Hit us up, shit. We open for business. Uh, shit, to my niggas out in Boston that's fucking with us right now, shit. You know where we at? Get in contact with us.